Well, actually, my when my dad took me to see Star Wars, the original Star Wars, uh, that's what got me into filmmaking. I think I knew exactly what I wanted to do um, when I walked out of that theater um, that day. Um, it was just, uh, wasn't so much, obviously it was the movie itself, but it was, you know, how the heck, did they do what they did in that film um, for that time? I think that's what um, sparked my interest. And, you know, the, the special effects and everything was something that, you know, I wanted to accomplish um, and try to achieve. So that was, that was one of my main goals was, you know, if I can, if I can make something like that and, um, and try to figure out what they, how they did it, um, that, that was my goal. And, um, my aunt actually, um, owned at the time a eight millimeter film camera. So of course I collected, you know, the action figures and stuff like that. So she said one day, she goes, you know what, come on over we'll make a short film one day and we'll do some animation. So I actually started off in animation at the time. And, um, you know, you go out there and buy, you know, film at that time was, you know, $5 for a roll and, uh, you only get three minutes on there and go back there and do some stop motion animation. And, and, and I never stopped after that. Uh, educational background. Uh, basically what I did is, um, pretty much, uh, as soon as I got into about, uh, junior high, um, I was able to get a, uh, my dad, uh, I believe from my eighth grade graduation, um, bought me a, a film camera of my own. And uh, so uh, through, you know, junior high, I was still doing stuff from home, you know, uh, you know, bringing in bags of sand, recreating Star Wars films and stuff like that into my bedroom and, and setting up lights. And then, uh, you know, went back and of course the Empire Strikes so then I started recreating things with, uh, you know, bringing in tons of flour into my room to make a snow and all that. So I was still really trying to achieve, you know, and figure out what they did in those films. Um, but pretty much after that, as soon as I went into uh, high school, um, there wasn't really an, uh, a class that offered, you know, for, for filmmakers, uh, at least for TV and radio. Um, so... It was a little tough. I, I did take those classes, but uh, my interest was still in film. And um, so throughout high school, I basically, you know, worked with leather. The, the, the and at the end of high school, um, I basically, uh, you know, every town usually has a like a uh, local public access station. So I start off and I approach them. Uh, uh, one of my friends, we came up with this uh, TV show idea. So we went over there and we presented them the idea. And, you know, a couple days later, they turned around and said, yeah, you know, yours, you can do it. So um, went off to do some uh, uh, more work. And as I was going, started working at the, the TV station and all that, I really kind of fell into the business fairly quick due to connections that the people I was working with there. And then I kind of started going off and doing corporate work. So, um, and that was doing training videos and all that and going out to some of these large companies like Caterpillar and uh, doing uh, local commercials and all that. And from there on, every time I went on a different job, I was always meeting new people that were, that were in the field. 